Welcome back to another discussion with Dr. Wolf and Tarek Dragon. Uh, Doc, aren't you supposed to say something after your opening statement? I'm reading. You know, it's not right for wolves to be reading. First they start getting ideas, and then thinking... Actually, I'm studying some of the differences between extroverts and introverts. For the sake of our listeners, though, let's define the terms. Okay, here's an example of an extrovert. Isn't this exciting? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I've never been so excited. Well, except for the time that I saw you walking into town and I went, <gasps> but I mean really. For an extrovert, it's natural to be outgoing and social. In fact, social situations recharge them on an emotional level. On the other hand, here we have an example of an introvert. Uh, my name is Mclaren. Didn't quite catch that. For an introvert, it takes effort to be outgoing and social. They often prefer to keep to themselves or stick to a close circle of friends. Large social situations tend to drain them on an emotional level, and they soon feel the desire to escape. In the context of both the brony and the furry fandoms, I've observed fans that fall within the wide spectrum between these two personality types. Furthermore, when among like-minded fans, some folks switch from one side of the spectrum to the other. Like you, perhaps? I can remember you trying to get me interested in attending a convention for years, and when I finally did, I was able to see a clear difference in how you behaved when surrounded by other fans. And considering that this was a brony convention, I found it surprising when you were more excited about taking part than I was. I thought you were normally somewhat antisocial. When I'm out in the general public? Yes. I tend more toward the introvert side than otherwise. However, when I come to conventions, I feel like I'm more in my element. And it somehow feels much safer to be outgoing, even with complete strangers. Didn't you feel the same way, Doc? Honestly, no. Going to that convention was the first time I would be around fellow bronies, and I certainly was looking forward to the experience, especially since you had been telling me for years about how much fun conventions can be. Upon arriving, I can remember still having that sense of excitement, but not feeling up to talking to others or taking part in the festivities. And this all took place even before I started making videos on YouTube, so I couldn't possibly expect anyone there to know who I was. I did have fun watching some of the panels, browsing the dealer's room, and even enjoying some of the costumes and collections that others had brought. But imagining myself doing the same things that others were doing was simply beyond me at the time. I honestly don't know whether that will ever change, but I am intrigued by the phenomenon. When I see some fans are able to leave their introvert tendencies behind at a convention while others cannot. When I went to my first convention back in 2008, I didn't know anyone there. I had no experience interacting with other fans. And, quite honestly, I didn't know what to expect. One of the first things I saw when I got there, though, was a group of fursuiters. Are we really going to talk about that now? No, no, really. I think this has a lot to do with the differences between being a shy and being a pie. Every fursuiter that I saw was animated, friendly, and loved the attention. It only took a few interactions for me to get over my initial uneasiness. I soon realized that those who were in costume were almost expected to be fun and approachable. So one could assume that those who like to participate in costuming and fursuiting are the extroverted Pinkie Pie types. You know, that's what I thought at first. It wasn't until later that I discovered that some of the most outrageous and outgoing fursuiters transformed into very shy people who kept to themselves as soon as they took the suit off. So for those who are more extroverted at conventions, it's kind of like they are able to adopt a different persona for a time, regardless of whether or not they are wearing a costume? The proper word, Doc, is fursona. And yes, I would generally agree. But in your case, Tarek, you didn't go to your first few conventions with that mindset. You had to build it up over time. Whereas nowadays, you are freely able to bring out your inner geek and revel in the festivities at each convention. <laughs> He called me a geek. <laughs> well, why not? I mean, what is the definition of a geek? All right, give us the clinical answer, Doc. Well, there are a few distinct definitions of the word. First, a person who is socially awkward and unpopular, which is usually an intelligent person who does not fit in with other people. Second, a person who is very interested in and knows a lot about a particular field or activity. I think I fit more into the second definition, though I have to admit the first one does apply to me and to a lesser degree. 
So yeah, I'd say that at a convention you are able to put aside your social awkwardness and chat with others who share your interests that may not be so popular with the general public. For me though, I wasn't able to put aside my hesitations about being social even when surrounded by other fans of MLP. Maybe it was because this happened to be the first convention I ever attended and I didn't know what to expect, but as to whether that will ever change in the future, I really don't know. However, even with my hesitations on interacting with others, the convention was quite fun, and I'd certainly be interested in going to more of them. And I'll still be interested in seeing how others can overcome their introvert tendencies and actually enjoy being extroverts for a time. Would you ever consider wearing a costume of any sort? A tail, maybe? I still have my doubts about that, honestly. I'm already able to be sort of a different person when I'm making videos and put them online. I feel more confident, more outgoing, and more like I'm being a good influence in the lives of others. I don't really need to wear anything to bring out that side of me. Hear that, fans? He's not himself when he's doing his videos. <laughs> honestly, though, I want to say that I do have my own suit. But it took me a number of years in the furry fandom before I was able to work up the courage to make and wear one. I made a tail for myself early on, and I wore it to my first convention. But it wasn't until three years later that I brought a full costume to a convention. One of the biggest things I discovered is how easy it is to be outgoing and friendly, and even silly, when you're wearing a costume. It's like I can become my character, a living, breathing version of my classy dragon. Another big thing is how much other folks want to interact with you when you're in costume. Many people want to take pictures, ask you questions, or even just want to hug the big friendly animal character. I love the feeling I get when I'm able to be in suit, especially when I see the faces and the smiles of little children. Well, I'm rather curious to hear from our viewers on this subject. Have any of you ever been to a convention? Did you notice any differences in your behavior when compared to your everyday demeanor? Were you able to put aside any introverted tendencies when surrounded by like-minded individuals? Or in other words, were you more like a shy or more like a pie? And for those of you who haven't attended a convention before, we would like to know what you think about the possibility of being around other fans. I'm sure that a lot of us could write about our convention experiences here and perhaps give others the courage to try attending a convention of their own. For those of you who have gone to conventions, did you have any expectations on how you and others were supposed to behave? Were those expectations met? Or were you surprised? Have you found yourself acting differently while you're at the convention, as opposed to how you act during your day-to-day -day life? We're interested to hear your experiences and thoughts on the subject. Do you feel that you are a shy or a pie, and why do you feel that way? Until next time, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you. And I'm Tarek Dragon, and um, y you can comment down there below if you want.